For me, there's no greater joy in life than making someone else feel better. Hi, my name is Oliver Tanous. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon at MedStar Washington Hospital Center. My uncle, who's a general surgeon, took me with him to the operating room. I was 12 years old and I remember just completely falling in love with the entire setting. And I remember thinking this is just the coolest thing I've ever seen. And pretty much since that point, it was always, I knew I wanted to be a surgeon and then I went to medical school and then orthopedics made a lot of sense to me because of the mechanics and because how much better you can uh, improve patients' lives. I decided to come to MedStar Washington Hospital Center because this is the hospital in town. It's the level one trauma center. It's where we get all the complicated cases, and it's the hospital that has all the resources. Patients come in and they usually have debilitating disease, they can't walk, they have a lot of pain, they can't function, and then as a physician, and as a surgeon, you're in a position to greatly improve their quality of life. So when the nerve is being pinched and the patient has shooting pain down the arm or tingling numbness in the fingers, you make the space bigger, you go and you open up that space for the nerve and the nerve feels better. When patients come in and they're having difficulty with their balance, they're, they're clumsy in the hands, maybe they're dropping things or they have a hard time with buttons, and you see that there's spinal cord compression, you go into the spine, you free up that space for the spinal cord, and then hopefully you make that spinal cord recover to some extent. So a spinal surgeon in its most basic form is someone who goes into the spine surgically to make the space bigger, either for the spinal cord or for the nerve. It's a great time to be a spine surgeon because things are changing so fast, and so there are procedures now that we're doing Whereas 10 years ago, a patient maybe needed a big fusion and a three or four inch incision. Now, I'm putting in a camera into the spine with about an eight millimeter incision and I'm decompressing the nerve and the patient's going home the same day. So really, I feel like my role as a spine surgeon is to empower my patients to number one, understand what's going on, and number two, for them to make the right decision for them. And I'm here to sort of to coach them, to encourage them, to root them along the recovery process.